Greetings, my little zonelings. I'm Zontan, and welcome back to another episode of Education, the Japanese language show where we dive into the topics you're not going to find in Babbel. And you're not going to have to fork over a hundred bucks to learn it, too. Kiss our asses, Rosetta Stone. Uh, but play is for another show, Dave. Today, we're going to focus on another asset of the female form. Breasts. English is full of colorful euphemisms for boobs, and I'm sure you all have your favorites. Mine happens to be speed bags, by the way. I'm partial to sweater puppies, but when it comes to Japanese, well, if we were trying to be clinical, a word we'd use is chichi. Then again, if we were trying to be clinical, we wouldn't be here, would we? Now, thanks to One Punch Man, I'm sure you're all familiar with the more colorful term, opai. Which can also mean breast milk, by the way, but how would you use it in a sentence? Well, if you wanted to tell a girl her mams are poppin', you could say, But if she looks like Christian Bale in The Machinist, <coughs> you could say, Still, the Japanese language has many other words for chesticles, and they usually have to do with size. In the middle, we have funyu which literally translates to normal breasts. Above that, we have kyunyu, giant breasts, bakunyu, explosive breasts, and finally, chonyu, super breasts. Basically, Kazonga's so big, you'd need a second spine grafted. On the other end of the spectrum, you have binyu, delicate breasts, hinyu, poor breasts, munyu, no breasts, and finally below that, Zone time. Ha! Funny. Say, Dave, do you think we have enough time to go over Dick's lane? Show's over, folks! Good night! <laughs> <laughs>